How to play racquetball, explained by Alaysa Santamaria. Racquetball can be played with just using small amounts of equipment. So it can be seen as an easy to learn sport to teach kids as well as people who have never heard of the game. And the objective of the game, just like any other sport really, is to score more points than your opponent would. Basically, it's just two people hitting a small rubber ball against the wall with their rackets and on the floor. In racquetball, the basic and most needed equipment in the, in the game would be just a rubber ball, the racquetball, and a racket. The other things, such as the safety equipment, is just needed for protective wear, such as eye guards and knee pads, which are really recommended, and as well as proper court shoes to give you grip and keep you from falling and slipping. The racquetball court consists of four walls, the front wall, back wall, and the two side walls. And the dimensions for the court would be 40 feet long, 20 feet wide, and 20 feet high. On the court, there is only three lines, service, short, and receiving lines. And between the short line and service line is where the server must serve. Behind the short line is a receiving line where receiving players must stand behind this line while the server is serving the ball so that it reaches past a certain point in the racket ball. The racket ball must hit the front wall and then make it past the short line before bouncing on the court. In other words, the game starts with a player serving the ball. To serve, a player must be in the serving zone and has to bounce the ball once onto the floor before hitting it. The ball must bounce behind the short line and travel over the receiving line. The opponent must wait behind the receiving line during the serve and cannot cross it until the ball has crossed over that line. You have to play the ball by hitting it onto the front wall. And the ball can hit any of the other walls and the ceiling, but you are only allowed to let the ball bounce on the floor once. If you let the ball bounce twice on the floor, you lose a point. The idea of the game is to make it difficult or impossible for your opponent to play a good shot back or to force an error out of your opponent. This exchange is known as a rally. Now about the points and the scoring. In racquetball, you can only score a point if you serve the ball. So if the server wins the rally, they score one point and continue to serve. If the opposing player wins the rally, they don't get a point, but they get the chance to serve. Once you play a shot, you have to try and get out of the way of the ball and your opponent. If you try to get out of the way but couldn't, this is known as a hindered and they could get a redo. Now, how does one win the game? Well, a standard racquetball match consists of the best of three series of a game. The first two games are won by the first person to reach 15 points. And if necessary, they can go into a third game, which is played until the player first reaches 11 points. Faults can be seen as fouls in the game. Now a serving fault is an improper serve. After two attempts, you have to forfeit your serve. A short fault is when the player is unable to get the ball past the short line when serving. Long fault is when the player hits the ball so hard it hits the back wall without touching the floor. And a wall to wall fault is when the ball hits the front wall and another wall before hitting the floor. I hope I taught you and was able to give you some insight and interest on playing racquetball. Thank you for watching and for your time.